hello everyone uh, today in this video I will discuss in a power plant or we call it a station station consists of so many other units so if anyhow this whole power plant trips or the station blackout occurs station blackout there is no unit running and there is no feeding from that un or from the units of the station to the grid so in that condition what are the precautions and the restoration steps are there i will discuss in details okay first let me discuss see i will go from uh, one by one i will discuss things okay first how will you identify identity for that uh, what should be the identification for the unit see first what do you will really say you will see like your all units will trip your units 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 trips okay this is annoying see take uh, i'll take this yes yeah unit trips the unit will trips second what are the other indication other units uh, other indication are all the st and lt drives will trip see third what you will say all the uh, unit buses or station buses or the lt lt buses will trip okay so buses unit and station buses that is a feeder buses trips along with that your uh, units uh, dc lights lights that are used in case of emergency like black starts like a startup all the lights uh, ac supply has been gone so dc lights will uh, switch on on auto fifth your um, man uh, your uh, dg sets you know dg sets diesel generator sets DG sets will start. Okay, so here the identification unit will trip, STLD drives will trip, unit station buses will trip, DC lights will, will glow on, and DG sets will start on auto. Okay, this is the identifi identification of a station blackout. Now, what are the actions to be uh, taken uh, uh, during this? what are the uh, actions you should take uh, during station blackout i will take see so the actions
pardon me this pointer i think is not working right now hmm. see so what are the actions now let me discuss first 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 of all you should start your dc eop dc seal oil pumps dc eop td agra and bomb btdb pps eops and uh, dc jop or main turbine scanner fan dc scanner fan you can uh, start from uh, either ows or there is a, a, a separate supply push buttons are in or uh, unit control panel ucp okay ows or was ucp the first step should is you just you have to start your e eops second step all the air filters motor electric motors on uh, uh, will be tripped so you have to start your air he air heater motor they will start on auto on off feedback but if in, if in case they are not started you have to take uh, air air motors of air preheaters on you have to make them start third switch on switch on dc lights see sometime it happen dc light doesn't come due to some fault or anything so you have to ensure that dc light should be on otherwise there is a blackout blackout is there you can't see anything so switch on the dc lights from local if you, if if they are not started in on on or on their own okay as speed of turbine is uh, uh, as you need only trip to so the speed is coming down at less than 2000 rpm vacuum breaker need to be open if the uh, vacuum breaker of turbine is not open you have to give on command so that the vacuum breaker opens okay uh, fifth you have to uh, close turbine and tdvp turbine seal steam supply because as there is no extraction from hot well so steam and water will start uh, increasing in the hot well and the steam will formation will oppose the costing of turbine okay so it may damage your turbine or diaphragms will get ruptured in lp lp turbine casing okay okay six at the time of tripping you have to ensure that your dgz electric dgz and dj generator set has been started if it, it is not started you have to start it start dg sets okay if dg set is started what do you have to do as you know a unit supply has been tripped so normal incomer to dg board that is emergency board normal incomer is tripped if it is not tripped you have to make it trip in trip condition now your dg your uh, emergency board is in uh, say uh, dead condition so you have to charge your dg uh, set in comer dg set in comer to em emcc board okay you are now your emergency board is charged okay at that point you have to start the all the b side b section of eop like tg aop 2 c primary water pump 2 seal oil pump of air side 2 s2 side seal oil pump okay tg jop which are on already in the mcc section so you have to start these pumps and all the vapor extractor fan and barring gear and supply to be normalized as speed is already costing down okay okay so your emcc has been charged and all the critical and emergency equipment has been uh, taken in service and also ac scanner fan and ac lighting and aph air air motor okay so this has been started 
now what you have to do the baller stop ball need to be closed okay as, as the supply is being restored now your charge you can charge from emcc to your unit unit to your uh, turbine tm tv mcc that is turbine wall mcc so in turbine wall mcc there is stop balls in are there so you now this has been charged like this you, you can close your stop ball okay another option you have to ensure that barring gear comes at 210 rpm at that it is the prescribed prescri prescribed or the normal value of the bar barring gear okay along with that and during this you have to ensure that the dg fire pump hydrant pump has been taken taken a start and spray diesel pump is also took uh, took a start after uh, normalizing they, they can be stopped but for that you have to be there along with that one important thing observe as to pressure from the local gauge or uh, the indication you have if in case as to pressure start decreasing or you can say from the local if there is any sort of leakage or uh, coming from the generator you have to start as to purging as to purging for that you have to depressurize like uh, if it is in filled in 23.5 ksc you have to depressurize 2.5 or 0.3 ksc and after that is you have to start co2 purging you are okay you have to fill CO2 and H2 should be uh, went out. Okay, this is the CO2 purging. Okay, now this is the only actions you have to take at that uh, tripping time. Okay, I am just taking another. Uh, see, uh, okay, now what uh, what you you have to do? See what you have to do. Sorry. Yes, uh, yes, yes. See what you have to do for the restoration work. Okay, what you have to do now, as you have handled your station blackout, now you have to restore it to the normal value so that the unit may function normally. For that, you have to charge your station station buses from the grid station buses should be charged ok from maybe may you say charge 100 400 kb to 132 kb to 11 kb and so on you have to charge your station buses first ok after that you have to charge your unit buses from station bus okay from the ties now your whole unit unit supply is restored electric supply has been restored okay you have, you have to normalize 11 kv 3.3 kv 0.4 kv buses after that you have to normalize emcc where which was fed from diesel set for that you have to do what you have to take see all equipments critical equipment that are running on EMCC to the unit service board ok yeah, unit service board has been charged then you can uh, made uh, you can make uh, all the e turbine equipment to be shifted ok so EMCC has been totally unloaded at that point what you have to do you have to normalize all the offsite and the uh, all the um, boards after that uh, you have to e charge your EMCC from unit ok now your electrical supply has been totally restored after that you should start MDBFP or motor driven wall or feed pump or fill drum to a normal value 
okay oh, and if you are uh, uh, getting clearance to uh, light up again you need to normalize all normalize to the uh, re rest of the system okay so here the restoration process for that you have to uh, follow step by steps okay in this video i have uh, discussed station blackout procedure how we are should uh, I, how we would we are going to identify it and what action to be taken and what are the storage steps you have to ta take while handling a station blackout in your units thank you